One of my friends has texted me and said, why the heck haven't you done a video about the Dave Chappelle SNL stand-up, the monologue in particular? So that's what we're gonna be watching today. I haven't actually seen it. I do love Dave Chappelle, and I forgot to put my chain on with me cross. Keep that on, God bless, okay. I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms, and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. Uh, okay, so he's obviously like mocking and having a laugh with Kanye. Okay, fair enough, fair play, fair play. I still think it's a bit overreactionary the way people have been treating Kanye. I mean, I'm not even a big fan of Kanye West, to be honest with you, but there's, uh, there's plenty worse people in the world, to be honest. And I'm a Jew. I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say to that? <laughs> Got some guts doing this, man. He's gotten into some scrapes before. And normally, when he when he's in trouble, I pull up. I pull up immediately. But this time, I was like, you know what? Uh, let me see what's gonna happen first. Which is strange because of all the people over the years, he's one of the people who's always spoken out. I mean, he's no stranger to controversial subjects, old Dave Chappelle, is he? So yeah, for him to keep his mouth shut, yeah. Vaguely, I remember it started with a tweet, strange tweet. It was like, um, the night before. A little sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give me some rest, but when I wake up, I'm gonna go DEFCON 3 <laughs> on the Jews. Is that what he said in a tweet? I don't know. I, ha I haven't followed this all the way. Like, that's what I'm saying. I haven't followed all of this. And then he just went to bed. <laughs> I was up all night worried. What? Yeah, but that's Kanye West, like, he don't follow no rules. I don't think he really cares. And in a way, that's what I'm saying. I'm not a big fan of him, but I don't know. I, it's no point in me commenting on what he said, because I don't know exactly what he said. Yeah, well, I have Jewish friends, so I'm not freaked out by your culture. I know a little bit about it just from hanging around. I'm like, yo, yo, let's go out at school. Yeah, but then, to be quite honest with you, you know what's funny, yeah? I always joke with my parents. Because we're all Jews, I always joke, because I've got German friends, so you know where I could go with this. I won't. And if you know me, you know I've got a very, very, very dark sense of humour, so I say some really bad things. But I don't want to get my channel shut down, so I've got to be careful. Why do some of your people dress like Run DMC? <laughs> Wow. Uh, and, and it was it was an amazing appearance. Uh, Noriega and them were there, the rappers that I love. And they Noriega's one of the greatest, man. Check out his tracks, nothing. There's a track that he done with Kelis. I forgot what it was called now. That's a banger, Noriega and Kelis. Kanye said, mm. only millionaires wear chains. They said, what? He said, I'm a billionaire. Billionaires don't wear their money on their body. There's nothing, to me, there's nothing here too, too controversial yet, so I don't know. He said, I can say anti-Semitic things. Now what? Did he just drop that nigga immediately? Yeah, that's kind of what happened, right? Yeah, so I don't, as I say, I don't know exactly like word for word what he said, but I know that everyone's on a rampage, like get rid of Kanye on all platforms. I don't know. Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. <laughs> and they were offended. Go and watch his Dave Chappelle early show, like late 90s, early 2000s. Then you'll know what controversy is. The stuff you lot are getting now is flipping tap water, bruv. It's clean. It's nothing. Go and watch his show and you won't make it past one or two skits without your jaw hitting the floor. Like, seriously. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. <laughs> Damn. Do you know what's clever about what he's doing here as well is he's actually, he's exposing kind of what Kanye is thinking, but doing it in a roundabout way. And I'm surprised that this is even on air. Like I really am. But apparently this movie had some, I don't know, anti-Semitic tropes or something. And it was some weird title, like from Hebrew to Negro or something. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the Chappelle I know and love. <laughs> this is where, you know, I draw the line. I know the Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but 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 you can't blame that on black Americans. You just you just can't. Rules should be applied across the board. You can't just pick and choose when it suits you, and that's to me is exactly what happens, especially with today's social media. You know what I mean? Yeah, one way. That's the one person that said Yeah, that. see. Which is true, see, because people are too people are too afraid to say something. That is how silly the world has become. People are too afraid. 
to even speak out and say what they think about something. Fair punishment would be he should just post a link to Schindler's List and y'all write your own captions. <laughs> and if you've not seen Schindler's List, that's a magnificent movie, mate. Watch it. News pundits screaming about Kanye. She said, mental health is no excuse for that type of language. Yes, it is, bitch. You can't use mental health as an excuse, but someone who's got mental health problems, and if you genuinely understand about mental health, it's not excusing it, but they will do things that are not normal and will do and react to things that doesn't fit in with the, the masses. There will be things said and done, so you've got to be aware of that before putting them in a position of where they could go off the, you know, off the rails. So Kanye is mentally unwell. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I suffer with mental illness. I take pills for it every single day. So I know that it would be dangerous for me to be put. I'm careful. Why do you think I record a lot of the stuff I do and I don't go live? Because I will say things that will get me in trouble. I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I think he's possibly not well. This is probably why he reacts the way that he does. Well, I've been to Hollywood. No one's y'all to get mad at me. I'm just telling you, I've been to Hollywood. This was just what I saw. <laughs> He's clever the way he writes stuff. He's very, very clever, Dave, Ch uh, Dave Chappelle. You know what I mean? You might go out to Hollywood and you might, might start connecting some kind of lines and you could maybe adopt the delusion that the Jews run show business. It's not a you could think that, but then you could think that about anything, to be quite honest with you. How many of you out there have had a spot on your arm and they'd read something online and you go, oh, I've got cancer. And then you go, no, 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 I haven't. I'm overthinking. And then you read something else and you go, it's not cancer, it's leukemia because leukemia does this. And then you go down a rabbit hole to believe what you read online. That's the problem with the internet. And people will easily believe anything that they see online. Crazy thing to think. But it's a crazy thing to say out loud in a class like this. <laughs> yeah, see, we all think crazy things, but it's whether you say it out loud. Well put, man. Well put. <laughs> I think we could all learn a bit from him, to be honest. Herschel Walker, who I, I don't want to speak badly of because he's black. Uh-oh, here we go. What? He's observably stupid. <laughs> At first debate, I'd never seen anything like it. I've never seen a white male billionaire screaming at the top of his lungs. This whole system is rigged, he said. <laughs> he was classic, you know. I love that. I've seen it so many times. I like Trump, yeah, but it's not because of any political things. It's nothing else. I think he's funny. So for me watching it, it's like watching a world leader from somewhere else in the world. I find it funny. That one he said with... Um, uh, Clinton as well she said something about his taxes or saying you know the famous video oh yeah because you'll be in jail or something like bro it's like it's like uh, uh, what do you call it comedy central roast that's what he's good at I said now wait a minute bro it's what he said <laughs> and the moderator said well Mr. Trump I remember this what would be your evidence he said I'll use it or something he said I know the system is rigged because I use it <laughs> ah, I Damn! You can see why this is causing controversy because of all the top boys going for everything, isn't he? I even look at his wife different now. His wife is beautiful, no question about it, but she looks like the kind of chick that James Bond would smash but not trust. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. That's a good one. She looks like a James Bond girl villain, you know, female villain. <laughs> and, and I will be very honest with you. Sometimes I was fired. I, I stole things from the office. Who hasn't? But you know what I never stole from work? Work. <laughs> you see, he's very clever. This is what I'm saying. He's very clever in his writing because he's sort of like playing both sides. Do you see what I mean? He's playing down the middle road, man. He's very, very smart. How is Russia losing to the Ukraine? That would be like America losing a war to Colorado. <laughs> That's a good one. Man, we should dismantle the FBI. Word to Martin Luther King, bro. We've been on that. Good point. Good point. You gotta remember, this guy is a comic, he's a stand-up comic. So you gotta take what he says as a pinch of salt. I said, I don't want a sneaker deal, because the minute I say something that makes those people mad, they're gonna take my sneakers away. And the whole crowd's like, ha, 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 ha. He's right, though, he's right, though. This guy lost a billion and a half dollars in a day. I saw that, I said, put your chain on, nigga, welcome back. Ah, oh, brilliant, very funny. I love you to death, and I thank you for your support, and I hope they don't take anything away from me. Whoever they are. Yeah, he's not going to say it. Exactly. We got a great show tonight. That was absolutely brilliant, mate. Is that the main? Right, that's it. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. 
Let me know what you think anyway about the Dave Chappelle thing. Do you think it was way out there? Explain to me some of the stuff that he was saying, because again, you might have heard I didn't understand all of it. I don't follow all the American politics, but from time to time, I'll catch up on the, the main bits. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name's Ramon. This is Hit On Miss TV. Peace. Yeah!